Okay, and let's start with <clears throat> Jorge. Jorge, can you read the title in the next couple of lines? Okay. Uh, traveling the world. Nice. And the and next couple, yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Today we will learn travel vocabulary, discuss traveling to different countries, talk about how to use public transportation. Nice. Okay. That was really good. Um, the only small thing that I saw, public. Can you repeat public? Public. Yeah, public. Perfect. Uh, public. I think that sounded good otherwise. Let's go to the next page. And let's have Claudia. Can you ask uh, Antonio the first question? Uh, do you like to travel? Why or why not? Well, yes, I, I like to travel uh, because uh, you you can uh, know other uh, culture and other form of uh, knowledge and and to be form to be uh, the the people. Uh, I think with, for example, Google, we we can uh, we can learn. A lot of these other cultures, but I I think uh, to travel uh, let you uh, to have a better image and better uh, knowledge about the about that uh, place or that uh, yes uh, country. Nice. Okay, I think that was a really good answer. Um, so I like to travel because you can we use a different kind of verb. You can does anybody know what we'd use here? Uh, no. Uh, you can no no the saying of the of the last word uh, word. I think we say get to know. Ah get not get to know. Uh-huh. So it's a little bit different. Um really good answer. Um, but you can get to know other cultures. Um, you could also say you can learn about other cultures, but I think get to know is what you were trying to say here. Um, and other forms of knowledge. I think we can learn a lot about these other cultures. Um, but I think travel, you said to travel. We'd want to use the gerund. How would we put travel into the gerund? Traveling. Uh huh, exactly. Traveling. Nice job, Claudia. Mm -hmm. uh, let's you have, let's you have a better image of that country. And so, just the preposition of was the other thing I'd change. Can you read that sentence one more time with the corrections? Sorry, Antonio, are you there? Yes, uh, I'm copying. Sorry, what okay, is the question? Well. Yeah, can you just read that sentence one more time? Ah, oh, okay, read. Uh, well, yes, I like to travel because uh, you can get to know other cultures and other form of uh, knowledge. I think we can learn a lot of, uh, uh, sorry, a lot about these other cultures. But I think traveling lets uh, you have a better image of that country. Nice. Okay. And one other small thing: the pronunciation of cultures. Uh, oh. cool. Cultures, 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 cultures. Okay. Yeah, and it's got that C H sound. Um, can you repeat one more time? Chers, chers, chers. Perfect. Chers. Cultures. Chers. Cultures. Nice. Much better. Thank you. Okay. Antonio, can you ask Salvatore the next question? Okay, uh, Salvatore, uh, what is the best place you have traveled to? Where did you like it? Uh, maybe the p best place uh, that uh, I visited, maybe uh, it is Vietnam, because uh, uh, people are very kindly, and uh, uh, I understand that uh, uh, there is a, there is a different religion. They they are uh, uh, Buddhist, and uh, 
I, I saw that in Vietnam, uh, uh, after the war, uh, uh, maybe they changed uh, uh, their country in best. Good. They changed their country, maybe we'd say for the best. Instead of saying in the best, for the best. For the best. Awesome. And Jorge, you can't read the text. Um, <laughs> can you see the text when I'm speaking? Can you see it when I'm speaking? Yeah, not, now I can. Okay. So what you need to do is there are names at the bottom of the screen. So if you yeah. click on my name, the yeah. text should come up. Does that help? Yeah. Okay. And so it should stay that way as long as you've kept clicked on my screen. I'm going to try it. <laughs> okay. Um, so hopefully that will work. And Salvatore, can you ask Jorge the, the next question? Yes. Uh, Jorge, what is the worst, worst place you have traveled to? Why didn't you like it? Yeah, I understand your question, but <laughs> I can't already see the, the, the text. But I'm going to ans answer you. Uh, well, I think the, the worst place that I, I have visited maybe is also one of the best places that, that I have visited. It was uh, Fez in Morocco, and I, I love the, the, that place, but it was... Um, Estresante, mm, es very stressing, maybe? Stressful. Be stressful, because uh, all the people want to, to sell you the items and want to take you to um, the museums to, to sell you a carpet, to sell you other things, and it was um, very hard to... Uh, support. <laughs> That's all. Teacher. Sorry about that. Gosh, I was <laughs> talking and my microphone was muted. Sorry about that. Um, so everyone wanted to sell you their items was the only really thing I corrected there. Um, it sounded like your grandma was pretty good. I didn't quite get the place in Morocco, but that's not massively important. Uh, yeah, really good answer. Um, okay, and... Uh, it, it was fifth, fifth. It's a, a town in Morocco. Okay. First, I'm not really sure how, how to print, uh, spell it, but no, that's okay. Not first. It's F E Z. Z? F E Z? Yeah, correct. That's the name of the town. Is the yeah. spiritual capital of Morocco? Okay. It's the spiritual. Can you spirit repeat spiritual? A spiritual? Okay, close. It sounds like you're saying a eh, spiritual. Remember in English we just start with the s sound, so it sounds like spiritual. Spiritual. Nice. Spiritual. Okay, thank you. Yeah, that sounded great. Um, okay, sorry. Hold on, my um, my computer's running a little bit slowly. Um, Hopefully let's fix that. Um, okay, and does anybody have any questions on this page? Any questions? No, teacher. Okay, good. Let's go to the next page. <clears throat> and let's have Claudia. Can you read the title and the directions? <clears throat> Vocabulary. Read the words. After, choose one and use it in a sentence. Nice. Really good pronunciation. That sounded great. 
Claudia, can you read the first three words? Check in, take off, root. Perfect. Really good, really good pronunciation. And let's have Antonio. Can you try the next three words? Okay. Hostel, hotel, uh, sightseeing. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Sorry. So, can you repeat hostel? Okay. Uh, hostel. Yeah. And then hotel. Hotel. Yeah, a hotel. So a hostel and a hotel. Okay. Hostel and hotel. Yeah. Instead of saying hotel, we'd say hotel. Ah, okay. Hostel, hotel. Nice. Perfect. Really good job, Antonio. And nice work with sightseeing as well. Uh, Salvatore, can you read the last three words? Yes. Sweet case, subway, hitch, hike. Good. Suitcase, subway, and hitchhike. Can you repeat hitchhike? Hitchhike. Nice. Okay, good. And does anybody have any questions about any of these words? Yes, teacher. I don't remember what uh, does it mean, uh, sweet case and uh, high hike. Okay. Can anybody tell us what a suitcase is? What's a suitcase? Yes. It's a suitcase. It's a, a big bag, we can say so, no? Yeah, okay. It's a big bag. What do you what do you put in a suitcase? Uh, clothes. And uh, what uh, what I need for a travel. Yeah, so you pack clothes and what you need need to travel. To travel, okay. Perfect. That's awesome. And hitchhike. What's hitchhike? Hike, uh, I don't remember, but, pro but probably is when you go uh, to walk, I mean, when you go walking, I for something. Okay, um, close. Does anybody else have a better idea of what a hitchhiking is? What's hitchhiking? Hitchhiking. Yeah, it's it's when you want to travel to a place without paying, so you uh, you put your thumb up in the in, in the road to take a car, and there, there's no that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, so you put your thumb thumb up on the road so people pick you up. Exactly. So this person in the picture is hitchhiking. He is hitchhiking. If oh, okay. you can see that. But only only the word hike Okay. So the word hike is just like to walk. Um, so you can hike a mountain or you can hike along the beach. Um, it's like usually to go for a long walk in nature. Okay, okay. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, and any other questions on this page? Does anybody else have any other questions? Yes, teacher. Me. <laughs> uh, route. What does it mean, route? Okay, route. Um, route. Yeah. Does anybody know what a route is? It's a street. Okay, yeah, a street would work. Um, so it's a little bit more specific. Um, the street so it, that uh, goes around the, the, the city. 
Yeah, so a, a route is just a street. So you can say like Route 66 is a road. So it's like Road 66. Um, but in this case, it's like specific directions. So like the route we took um, to the hospital took us out of the city and then back in. So it's like a, a series of roads is a route. So it's like this, this picture, describes a route. So this is a route from point A to point B. So it's not just one road. It's like the directions from one place to another mm. is a route. Okay. From one place to another. Um, Hopefully that makes sense. And Jorge, my um, my Google Hangouts is actually acting a little bit slow as well. It's not working too well. So I'm going to actually come back. So I'm going to leave and come back. And hopefully this will kind of clear up. And Jorge, you'll be able to see the screen after. Um, OK. So, so hold on one second. Um, OK. Gosh, if I can even leave. Uh, yeah, and sorry about this, guys. Doesn't usually happen. <clears throat> oh, gosh, come on. No, <clears throat> check you. Salvatore, ma te non sei di Milano, però. Eh, sì, sono di Milano, però i miei genitori sono siciliani. Ah, lo sentivo un po'. Se quest'anno... Ah, <ride> oh, scusa. <ride> ok, um, and hi guys, welcome back, or I guess welcome myself back. Um, so let's get the screen share back up. And so, Jorge, um, can you click on my name at the bottom of the screen and see if it stays? Yeah, I, I can click on your name, and, and I see Joshua and uh, an arrow, green arrow, and another arrow um, to down. But when uh, other people speak, and, the, and their micro activate, uh, they change the, the photo. Okay, that's strange. Um, I'm not really sure why. So, okay, I'm don't gonna worry. actually put I'm gonna put the the PowerPoint in Google Drive. So if okay. you go to Google Drive and download it, you can follow along with us. Okay, thank you. You won't be able to see what we write or what I write, but um, but yeah, you can follow. Um, okay, and I got do you. you have it? Okay, yeah. perfect. Awesome. And so, any other questions about any of these words? Any other questions? Okay, good. And so we're a little bit behind, so we'll skip the sentences. Um, let's start. Uh, Jorge, can you read the title of the next page? Uh, fill in the blanks. Good. And can you try the first sentence? Yeah. <clears throat> I got a flat reserved. Okay. Not quite. So. You're going to have to choose one of these words, and it's not always the word that's right next to it. So which yeah. word works best? Yeah, I think it was reserved uh, like a uh, book, something like that. You have book a flat in your holidays, so I, I, I tell the reserved. Okay. So that's completely correct. I didn't even think about that. Um, I guess in American English, uh, we don't usually refer to apartments as flats, is the only reason I thought that. But I, I got a flat reserved. We'd say I have a flat, or I have reserved, uh, maybe, uh, would sound better. Uh, or even just saying I reserved Hi. a flat. But yeah, I think, Claudia, for this sentence, we'd want to say tire. So I got a flat tire. Jorge, does that make sense? Uh, yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, so I got a flat tire. And Claudia, what about the next sentence? Uh, this isn't the car I um, I reserved online. Nice, perfect. I reserved online. Okay, and Antonio, what about the next one? Mm -hmm. I uh, I looked. No, I looked. Yes, maybe. No. I looked yeah. my case in my car. Yeah, I locked my keys in my car. I locked, locked. <clears throat> Perfect. Good job. Uh, yeah. And Salvatore, can you try the next sentence? Yes. Uh, I one moment, please. Uh, I ran. Uh, I ran out of gas. Perfect. Yeah, I ran out of gas. Okay. And what about the next one, Jorge? Yeah. I got into, sorry, <laughs> wait, I, I'm with the Google Drive and now I'm out. Um, I got into an accident. Nice, I got into an accident. Perfect, really nice job. And what about the next sentence? Uh, sorry, uh, Claudio, what about the next sentence? Uh, my car is making a lot of noise. Nice. Good job. My car is making a lot of noise. And Antonio, what about the next sentence? Mm -hmm. uh, my battery is dead. Perfect. So my battery is dead. And the last sentence, Salvatore. Can, can you give me a jump start? Good. Can you give me a jump start? Awesome. Really nice work. Does anybody have any questions about any of these sentences? Yeah. What, what is a jump start? Okay. Uh, can anybody explain what a jump start is? I tried, teacher. Uh, maybe when uh, you need uh, a passage, a passage, uh, a passage, right? Okay. When uh, you need, right? Not quite. So a jump start is a little bit different. Does anybody have any other ideas? No? OK. <clears throat> so jump start is when your battery is dead. Um, so you connect wires. You connect wires to your car's battery from another car's battery. And you try to charge your battery with the other car. Does okay. that make sense? Yeah. All right. Okay. Good. Um, any other questions on this page? Yes, I have a question. Uh, what is the difference uh, between, for example, I have reserved a flat and I got flat tire. Reserved and tire. What is the difference? Okay. Uh, so a flat tire is just a tire is like the rubber part, uh, the round rubber part of your car. So the wheel tire is like wheel and I reserved a flat um, so flat is like an apartment in this case um, so flat is an apartment an apartment so it's like it's more of a British English thing to say so I've reserved a flat I've reserved an apartment this is the same thing um, and a flat tire is just when you lose the air in the wheel of your car does that make sense? Do you know the difference now? Uh huh. Okay. 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 Uh, good. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions? Flat. Okay. Okay. Good. Let's go to the next page. Um, actually, let's skip this one for now, and let's try the role play. And let's start with Claudia. Can you play role A? Can you read role A? Uh, you're a bus driver. The tourists want to see the 
Corpo Vado statue in Rio de Janeiro, but they pronounce the name incorrectly. Correct them and tell them how to get to the statue. How can I pronounce teacher? Sorry, statue. Statue. Statue, okay. Yeah. Um, but good. And let's have Salvatore. Can you read the next role? You're a tourist. You're asking a bus driver how to get to Corca. We do. He doesn't understand you. Try to explain where you want to go using other words. Nice. Okay. Good. And so can you guys go ahead and try the role play? Okay. Yeah, and Claudia, um, maybe start I with have, hello. I have to, to start? Yes. Um, <laughs> I, I, I don't understand uh, um, what, uh, uh, what you want to visit here in Rio de Janeiro. Can you repeat, please? Yeah, and Salvatore, can you go ahead? Uh, I have to answer, teacher. Yeah, so pretend that you're the tourist and you want to okay. get to this statue. So she said she doesn't understand what you're saying. How would you answer? Uh, uh, so, sorry, uh, man. I I don't know how to get to Cor Corca Guido. Can you tell me uh, where uh, I can find uh, this place, please? Um, sorry, what what do, what do you um, what do you mean for Cor? Corco, I don't understand, please. Can you try uh, with other words? Yes, sure. Uh, I wanted to see a place uh, near the sea. Right. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how we with the in other words, teacher. Okay, so it's the picture at the bottom of the page. It's that statue. It's the statue oh, okay. of Jesus. J Jesus. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I want to see uh, the statue of uh, Jesus uh, in Rio de Janeiro. Can uh, you tell me where I can find uh, this place? Uh, sure, but uh, this is not the right... Uh, uh, the uh, the correct bus or the right bus? <laughs> either. Ah, okay, either the correct bus. Uh, you have to uh, you have to 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 take the number six when you uh, when you were at the bus station. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Nice. Good job, guys. Okay, yeah, that was perfect. So take the number six at the bus station. Um, yeah, nice. Does anybody have any questions on this page? Okay, good. And so, again, really nice job. Uh, let's go to the next one. And let's have Jorge. Can you look at the comic and read it? I, I don't know where, where you are. In what what part of the of the text are you reading now? So it's page eight. Page eight. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Comics. Read and discuss. Tom, this is Kate from the office. Boy, you are a hard person to read when you are on vacation. Nice. Really good. Good pronunciation. 
on occasion. And so what do you think this means, Antonio? What, what do you think about it? Uh, which is the next question to the uh, when we when say, boy, you are a hard person too. I, I can I can see clearly. Oh, so it's I, you're a hard person to reach when you're on vacation. Ah, to reach, to reach. Okay. Uh, on vacation. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. And so, what do you think it means? Uh, well, mm, yeah, I think it is uh, like this person is on vacation. Uh, this uh, fourth person who who do work in the in his employ. I don't know. Right. Okay. Yeah. So I think he's on vacation. Um. What about anybody else? Does anybody else have any ideas why this comic might be funny? What it means? I don't know. Okay. I um, think that I go think ahead. that 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 boy can't to stop thinking in his job. Okay. Thinking and We'd say about his job. About. Okay. That might be it. So it's a good point. Maybe he can't stop thinking about his job. Um, does anybody else have any ideas? Any other ideas? I think uh, uh, probably they want to, um, to say that uh, when you are on vacation, um, you don't want to to be uh, uh, to be disturbed. We can use so. Yeah. Uh, and uh, people want to try um, uh, want always to try to um, to contact you in any in any way. Yeah. For sure. That's I think exactly what this is trying to mean. Um, so he doesn't even have his phone with him. He's at the beach. He's in a bathing suit. He's on vacation. And he's really excited to be there. And somebody calls him from work on a seashell. Which is, it's funny because it would never happen. It's kind of ridiculous. But yeah, when you're on vacation and you don't want to be disturbed, people always try to contact you about work. I think that's perfect, Claudia. Really good job. Um, okay. But yeah, maybe it could be a number of different interpretations. Maybe he can't stop thinking about his job. Yeah, it could be a lot of things. And so, Claudia, can you ask Salvatore the second question? Has something like this ever happened to you? Uh, actually, uh, no. Uh, these uh, things, uh, uh, it never happened uh, to me. When I was uh, on vacation, uh, nobody call, uh, calls to me to talk about uh, work. Okay, no one calls. We wouldn't say calls to me. Just no one calls me to talk about work. Um, yeah, and that'd be good. So when I'm on vacation, no one calls me to talk about work. Good. Really nice job, Salvatore. What about you, Jorge? Has anybody asked, uh, has anybody ever done this to you? Yeah, when when I'm on vacation, I, I'm i always thinking about my work because I'm a bit, and, and sometimes I, I let some patients in in the hospital and I have to pass the um, histo histori um, sorry I have to pass all the um, drugs that I'm giving to that dog or the history maybe I have to to give to another vet 
and I'm thinking maybe that bet has to call me for uh, ask ask me about the treatment. Mm. <laughs> okay, um, so definitely you're always thinking about work. Um, so you think about the beds, um, the patients, and so you, the patients can call you and ask about their treatments. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. So we call not, them patients. No, no, not the, not the patients. Uh, I, I think, uh, I think about the patients because um, I'm veterinarian. So um, if I, if I have a, a dog uh, that is ill in the hospital, another vet has to care about about him. Ah. So okay. m maybe that vet has to call me and ask about the treatment and what drug have to has to use or other things. Yeah, ask about the treatment. Perfect. Yeah, exactly. I didn't understand vet. Um, it sounded like bed. Can you repeat one more time? Vet. 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 Yeah, vet. Vet. <clears throat> Awesome. Uh, that sounded great. And Ken, welcome to class. Ken, how are you doing? Yes, thank you. I'm fine. How are you? Doing well. Thanks for asking. Nice to see you again, Ken. Okay, thank you. and does anybody have any questions on this page? Any questions? Okay, let's go on then. Oh, let's not go there. <laughs> um, so let's go on to this excerpt. And let's start with. Ken, can you read the title? Okay. Exploring Lanai, Hawaiian Rough Roads to Resort. New York Times ex ex excerpt. 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 Yeah, I'm only allowed to block Antonio's screen. <laughs> that is curious. I'm not sure why. Um, so you can't mute yourself? Okay, that's fine. And so, again, can you repeat Hawaii? Hawaii. Hawaii. Good. Nice job. And let's read the first sentence. Antonio, can you read the first sentence? Okay. Uh, long before Mr. Ellison came on the scene, the sign, a devout sort of traveler has been drawn to Lanai. In search of uh, art roads and rural Hawaii, that once was. Uh, before the wars of beach resorts, condominiums, high end restaurants, and beaches, crawling uh, with swimmers, surfers, and snorkelers. Nice. Okay, that sounded good. The only small things I saw um, were Hawaii. Hawaii. Ha, Hawaii. Hawaii. Okay. Yeah, one more time. Ha, why, e, Hawaii. Ha, why, e, Hawaii. Good. And then once. 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 Yeah, once. Okay. And this first sentence, does anybody have any questions on this first sentence? Uh. I don't understand. Come on the scene. Ah, okay. Came on the scene. So, does anybody know what came on the scene means? Can anybody explain came on the scene? Any ideas? Came on that place. Okay. Yeah. Um, came on the scene. So, this is kind of like came on the place. It's a reference to theater. So when somebody enters into the theater, they come into the scene. Um, so they are visible. So when somebody comes onto the scene, they become part of the, the picture, um, uh -huh. maybe involved, involved in the situation. Um, and so I'm writing in the chat box because the, the screen's pretty full here. 
but yeah, when you come onto the scene, you become involved in the situation. Um, so you just enter into the, the situation. Does that make sense, Claudia? Okay, thank you. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And anything else? Any other questions on this first page or on this first sentence? Okay, let's have Antonio. Can you read this part? Um, so this part of the sentence? Mm -hmm. uh, crawling with swimmers, surfers, and snorkelers. Good. What's that mean? Um, Salvatore, what's that mean? Crawling with... When you make uh, uh, crawling with uh, swimmers, surfers, and snorkelers, when you get into the water uh, to make uh, uh, snorkeling, right, teacher? Yeah, snorkeling is when you swim in the water and you breathe through like a stick. Um, and so you look at the ground, you look at the bottom of the ocean, but you still breathe with this little tube. But what's what's crawling with swimmers, surfers, and snorkelers mean? Sorry, teacher. Yeah. So, what's it mean to be crawling with crawling. people? Crawling. What's that mean? Mm, I don't know. I don't okay. know, teacher. Does anybody else have any ideas? Jorge or Claudia, Antonio or Ken. Any ideas what it means to be crawling with swimmers, surfers, and snorkelers? Hmm. When when there's a lot of people, yeah, and exactly. There's full of of people doing that activities. Yeah, doing those activities. Those activities. Yeah. Good. So crawling just means it's really full. Um, so the verb to crawl is actually to walk on your hands and your knees. So that's what it means to crawl. In this case, it's crawling with swimmers, surfers, and snorkelers. It's like there's so many people you can't even walk. You have to like move slowly. You have to crawl through the people. So when something is crawling with people, it just means it's really full. So it's a really common expression that we have in English. Um, but good. And let's have uh, Jorge. Can you read the next sentence? Okay. After coming to Lanai over the last three years, I too embraced its wind, swept, swept, barrenness, and isolation. The harsh challenge in traveling deeply route and dusty roads to find its beaches. Trials and ruins, even the relative lack of things to do after sundown. Good. Um, can you repeat rutted? Rutted? And rutted. Yeah, rutted. Rutted. And ruins. Ruins. Yeah, rutted, ruined. Perfect. Um, that was good. Does anybody have any questions about anything in this sentence? Yes. In fact, I, I don't understand anything. Okay. No. <laughs> okay. It's a tricky sentence. Um, can anybody explain what this sentence is saying? Okay. Um, so let me paraphrase. So after coming to Lanai over the last three years, so the author is talking about himself, and Lanai mm -hmm. is a place. So because yeah. he's come to this place for three years, he too, so I as well, um, came to love or embraced. So embrace is to hug, but when we embrace things, it's we come to love them. So um, you like take them into your heart is kind of what it's saying. So you come to love is windswept barrenness. So barren, it means there's no life. So if it's windswept barrenness, it's just like really, really dry, lifeless, and kind of windy. Um, and isolation means it's, it's far from everything. And then the harsh, it's like 
the really vicious challenges of traveling. Um, deeply rutted roads. Um, so a road with a rut, it has like a, maybe like, not a hole, um, but there are two little divots in the road. So it's when the road sinks down where the tires are. So when the road gets a little bit deeper where the tires are, it's a rutted road. Um, mm -hmm. And dusty is just, it means it's dry so that there's a lot of dust. Um, trails and ruins. And then the lack of things to do after sundown. So he's just saying that despite the barrenness, the challenges of traveling, um, and the lack of things to do after sundown, he has come to love this place. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So uh, what's the meaning of harsh? Harsh. Harsh is like um, unforgiving. Unforgiving. Um, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Pub crawl, Salvatore. Um, yeah, difficult. Harsh. Um, so like the harsh conditions are really like the vicious conditions, the unforgiving conditions. So anything that has a harsh condition could be like Antarctica or a desert or something that's just really difficult to live in or difficult to do something in um, would be harsh. So a harsh teacher um, is somebody who gives you really bad grades uh, for doing something that's just mediocre. So they can fail you for giving like just an okay paper. That would be a harsh teacher. Um, and Salvatore, really good question. So like pub crawl and crawling. So pub crawl is just really just traveling from one pub to another. Um, the use of crawl is just like a, a verb of movement. Um, I guess you go pretty slowly from one bar to another. It doesn't have much to do, in my mind, with the actual crawl. It's just something that we call it. So it's a pub crawl. And crawling is to walk on your hands and knees. Um, so when it's crawling with people, it just means it's crowded. So those are, I mean, all pretty different definitions. But pub crawl is the one that like makes kind of the least sense. Uh, hopefully that answers your question. Uh, OK, thank you. Yeah. OK, and let's try to read the next two sentences. Ken, can you read those next two sentences? OK, still, a ret written trip in June made clear that things are changing. Mr. Harrison's uh, presence can be felt almost everywhere. The construction at the resort, the spiffing act of Lanai City, the on-time plantation town, the talk on long-term plans for uh, desal desalination plants, uh, plants uh, agric agriculture, middle-class housing, and even a college campus and a film festival. Good. Really nice job. Good pronunciation. The only small thing maybe, desalination. Can you read desalination? <laughs> A desalination. Yeah, desalination. Mm -hmm. Desalination. Good, perfect. And so, a desalination plant is just a plant that takes salt water and makes it fresh water. Um, in case you didn't know that, that's a tricky one. Okay, and this sentence. Does anybody have any question about these sentences? Ellison is a, is a company to develop this area or something? Okay, Mr. Ellison. So this is possessive. Um, so Mr. Ellison is just a person. He's just a really rich person. Mm -hmm. um, and he's the one who's purchased the island, and I think he's trying to develop it. Uh -huh. I see. Good, good question. Any other questions? What about spiffing up? Claudia, what do you think spiffing up means? Uh, I don't know. Sorry, I I, I am uh, absent in that, this moment. Sorry. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Um, anybody else? Does anybody know what spiffing up means? Spiffing up. Okay. So it's like making nice. Um, so when you spiff yourself up, you can put on some nice clothes. Maybe put on some cologne. So you spiff yourself up for a date. Um, so when you're spiffing up a place, you're just cleaning it up, making it look nicer, maybe developing it. Um, 
But good. And so the last sentence before we finish up, um, if nobody has, uh, let's have Claudia. Can you read the last sentence? Yes. And everyone is watching as the billionaire visionary seeks to change the night to liking while presu presumably remaining faithful to the idea of it as the place to find a way as it once was. Yeah, Hawaii. Can you repeat Hawaii? Hawaii. Hawaii. Good. Um, yeah, I think that sounded good. Um, nice. And does anybody have any questions about that last sentence? Uh, to his liking while uh, liking, um, I don't understand. To change the night to his liking while presumably. Okay. So to when you change something to your liking, you change it to make it so you like it. So you don't really keep in mind what it is. So if you change somebody to your liking, you um, you make it so that you like it, really is what it's saying. Um, so he's trying to change the island so it suits the image of what he wants. So he's just trying to make it so he likes it. Does that make sense? Mm, not so much. <laughs> so, okay. Sorry. In Spanish? In Spanish, you'd say al gusto. I'm not, I think it might be similar in, in Italian. Um, so you can prepare the pasta to your liking. Um, so it's like to your specific taste. So according to Yes, yes, OK. Taste. Yeah, OK. So he's trying to change the island to his taste while presumably. Presumably is like one assumes. Okay, thank you. Yeah, of course. And so unfortunately, we're just about out of time. Uh, so if anybody has any last questions, just let me know. Um, but if not, have a really great day, and hopefully I'll see you guys all again soon. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 See you. Bye. Bye.